Hey guys, it's Miss Carrie. So this week I had the opportunity to take off for my girls' spring break, even though we didn't get to go anywhere. And you're probably thinking, oh, I bet y'all did so many fun things. And while we did a few fun things, this week we actually worked. Um, we were able this week and over the past few weeks to clear out in front of this barn over my shoulder here. You used to couldn't even see the, the back part of that barn from my house. And then this week we were able to put up this fence over here that you can see to my right that goes down my driveway. So we've been doing a lot of hard work this week. And so it got me to thinking, what does the Bible say about hard work? Some of you probably have been helping your parents around the house a lot more lately because we're home a lot. We can help wash dishes. We can help load the laundry, uh, do the laundry. We can even keep our rooms clean because we're home a lot more. What about all that schoolwork you've been doing? I know you guys have had to do schoolwork on the computer, but everything we do, we should work as we're doing it for God. So what does the Bible say about work? One of my favorite verses from Bible drill is Colossians 3.23. Remember Colossians is in the New Testament. And it says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as though you were working for the Lord and not for man. What does that mean? It means that everything we do, however we work, we should work as if God's there with us and maybe he's our coach or our teacher or our boss and we should work like we're working for him. It's kind of hard sometimes, but it's still something that we should do. So what are some things that you work on? Maybe you've been working really hard on learning your letters or how to write your name for some of you little ones. What about sports? I know some of you like to do travel ball and play baseball and softball or even basketball. You have to work hard to do those things, right? Maybe you've been working in the yard or, or Annabelle and Molly been working for their granddaddy and they've, they've worked to help me and Mr. Will. Uh, maybe you've been working for your grandparents, helping them clean the house or do things and they actually pay you. Maybe you're working hard to save that money for something. Molly wants a pair of shoes. Annabelle now says she's saving up for a car, which actually isn't that far away. In two years, she'll be 16. So we all have different things we're saving for. Maybe you're saving for a, a video game or something, but we all work for a reason. All right, so what about yard work? Or, or maybe you're just working to achieve a goal, like you have a goal that you set up, like you want to be able to do 100 jump ropes without stopping. Everything you do requires hard work, requires practice, requires patience, and it's something that we can all do to the glory of God because God values work. Um, he gives several examples in the scriptures. You know, the very first family, Adam and Eve, what did God give them? The Garden of Eden. And he allowed them to work it and make everything beautiful and keep the animals. So work is important, right? What's another one? Uh, Molly gave a good example of a story. Do you remember Jacob and how he had to work for Rachel to get Rachel to marry him? His had to work for her daddy for seven years and then he ended up giving him her, her sister first and then he had to work seven more years. But it was a lot of hard work to get to his goal and his goal was to marry Rachel. All right. One of my favorite stories, you know, is work always easy? Not necessarily. Remember the story about Jesus and the disciples and they're on the boat and they fished all night and they caught nothing. And then Jesus says in the morning, you know, they're ready to just wrap it up and go on in and give it up. And Jesus says in the morning, why don't you cast on the right side of the boat? Well, you know, they had worked all night and they had caught nothing. I mean, what made him think they were gonna catch it? But they trusted Jesus and threw the net on the right side of the boat and they caught so many fish, it was so hard for them to drag it in. So work's not always easy, but everything we do should be done for the glory of God. What about something like Joshua in the walls of Jericho? And you know, God told him he was gonna give a victory, but for seven days, he had to walk around those walls. And you know, for seven days, he's probably thinking, oh my goodness, is this thing gonna fall down? But eventually it does, right? Because he trusted God. So sometimes work is not easy. Sometimes work is not fun at all. But how can we as Christians and followers of God make work fun for others? We can encourage them. We can try to stay positive when it's not a positive time. 
And something Miss Carrie likes to do is smile. You can all, your smile can light up somebody's day. And you can show them Jesus without even saying a word. So maybe this week, God has, uh, your parents may have assigned you something to do, a task to do, or your teachers may have assigned you something. Um, and it might be really hard work, but everything we do, work, achieving goals, whatever, whatever we do, we should work, just like Colossians says, work as we're working for the Lord and not for man. So maybe this week you need to have a different attitude toward the work that you've been like that's been laid in front of you, and work like you're working for God. So I have, don't have a lot of prayer requests this morning, but I really ask that you be in prayer for Bo and Reed's Grandma Bonnie. She's having a really hard time, and and so just really be in prayer for them. Is there somebody you would like to pray for? Awesome. We'll, we'll definitely pray for them. So let's end with a word of prayer. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes and be really still and quiet. God, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Thank you for the opportunities to work that you're giving us to have wonderful goals like my beautiful fence and my cleared out barn so I can look out my window and enjoy it. You give us so many wonderful things, Lord. Help us this week as we're doing our schoolwork and we're working toward our goals to have a positive attitude and encourage other people and to work as we're working for you like you're standing here in front of us and have a and have a great attitude and enjoy the work that we do because it's important to you. Lord, we especially this morning ask you to be with Bo and Reed's Grandma Bonnie and everybody else that's sick. There's so many, so many in the hospital right now. We ask that you put your healing hand on them and, and be with their families as, as they're waiting by their, their side or waiting at home to hear from them. God, you're so amazing, and there's so many that other people have mentioned this morning, and we ask that you be with each and every one of those needs. Thank you for being so awesome. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, I hope you have an awesome week, and I hope you work different this week and work with a positive attitude and do your schoolwork with a positive attitude, and maybe take the chance to encourage somebody this week and show God through your work. Bye.